Good day to you people. My name is Thomas and welcome to Game Talk. This is a new show that I've been planning to do. It's where I uh, talk about games and like we share, uh, I share my opinions to you people and you, um, you know, sort of um, share your opinions back to me. So I thought for the um, for the pilot episode of this series is that we talk about why Sonic 06 Oh, I'm falling in the wrong way around. It's my favorite game. Let's start this episode off with a bit of history. It was 2006, and because you know that's where the game came out. And um, I was sitting down in the living room from a hard day of, of primary school, sat down and relaxed, watching my favorite um, program, Jetix. It was when. It was when a when the adverts came up that um, that a particular kind of advert intrigued me, and that was the Sonic 06 advert. I will play you a um, I will play the trailer for you to show show how it intrigued my little mind. Ah, oh, fuck. Sega. The city of water, Soleana. Says holds. Son of Soliana, guide and watch over us with your eternal light. The power which can destroy the world. I've come here to obtain the secret of the flames of disaster from you, and to take the miracle gems that are the key to its secrets, the Chaos Emerald. Now, Princess, this way, please. Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Now, usually, um, I would I would go out and beg my parents to get the game, but there was one problem. I only earned the original Xbox, not the 360, which means I really couldn't get the game, which was you know kind of sad. So I I begged my parents like a lot to give me an Xbox 360 so I could get Sonic 06. I eventually got a uh, 360 in like 2007 but I never played it. Well I never really got Sonic 06. It was only last year when I got the game and it was amazing. I, I, I enjoyed every second of it. Well despite the you know problems but we'll talk about that later so after I've uh, finished the game I decided to look on the internet to see you know how people you know liked this game and unfortunately I got the opposite reaction instead of saying the game was brilliant I got this the game is awful why 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 <laughs> kind of like that and I can understand where you're coming from, the amount of glitches in the game and how the characters look, kind of look like they made out of clay. I mean seriously, look at the characters, it looks like they like they modelled it through stop motion animation. And how some of the characters are undeveloped, like Mephilus not having a mouth or whatever. And the creepy version of a man looking like a real life figure. 
and the awkward bestiality scenes which we will not talk about but still that didn't really you know stop me from liking the game it's still one of my favorite games of um you know all time now i guess it, this is the time where i explain why it's my favorite game first of all it's the timeline in sonic 06 when you um start up the game you're only allowed to select you know sonic because you know he's on the front of the cover and uh, you would and yeah he, he's sonic so so what so so then when you start the game you you go through the, your normal sonic adventure blah 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 you get the point but there were some things in the in the storyline which you got confused with why are you called the iblis trigger why is the future like that why does silver want you dead why why is Mephilus look a lot like Sha why are shadow and rouge in the future so are you it was only when you when you complete sonic story you unlock the others silver and shadow's story then when you when you play them it actually fits in to sonic story it's all three um stories of the hedgehogs fit into one storyline which is actually pretty clever of sega also, I was a huge fan of Doctor Who, so timeline, so time was like amazing for me. So, so I guess that's one of the reasons I like it. But then there's also the characters. Now, most people would say that their favorite character in this game, well, if there is any who, you know, who would like it, is probably Sonic or Shadow. Mine, however, is Silver the Hedgehog. I know this is a really inaccurate, inaccurate representation of Silver. In fact, this is a Sonic plushie, but who fucking cares? Now, there's two sides to Silver. You either get... Wow, he's, he's a really good character. Then you get... He's bloody rubbish! So, yeah, you don't know which side to pick. But honestly, I think I'm with the good side which is the i like his character well mostly but then i also can understand why people would not really like him the reason one of the reasons why i like silver the hedgehog the most is because he's not stereotypical if you don't know what what i mean by that is you know how you look into every sonic sprite you know episode i'm sure just go on youtube and just type it in you'll find many of them there's always a fan character like zero the hedgehog hannah the hedgehog yada 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 but the only thing that i hated the most was that fans would think that whenever you're called something the hedgehog you're as able to run as fast as sonic which is kind of disappointing that is why sega have made Silver the Hedgehog, you know, to show that he's not, you know, he is not the stereotypical hedgehog. He is not fast, but slow, which is actually a pretty good point that Sega made. And also, he, and also, he has teleconnected powers. Who could resist it? I meant psycho um, psychonesis, not telekinetic. How bloody stupid am I? What I also liked about Silver the Hedgehog was its concept art. What you can see right now is Silver the Hedgehog, you know, concept art. As you can see, he looks very, very different. And in fact, he actually had different colours as well. Here's the original Silver, if it ever existed. Originally, Silver the Hedgehog was going to be named Venice the Hedgehog. The reason why he was going to be named Venice the Hedgehog is because he wanted... The, Sega wanted to, um, to show that... that Oh, <laughs> what a terrible start. Back in 2005, when um, Sega had just made Shadow the Hedgehog, they were also working on Sonic 06. And since uh, one of the game, you know, worlds was solely on it, which was a replica of Venice, Venice, the Italy city, they wanted to, sh to make a hedgehog to represent that, you know, city. So they were originally going to name him Venice from, you know, the city of Italy. You don't say! So, 
so then for some strange reason that didn't really work out with the Sega employees. So they gave him a new shade of um, you know, you know, eye color and you know just gave him a new shade of fur and there you go you have Silver the Hedgehog. What I also like about Sonic 06 is the different fighting styles. Well, you see, see, Thomas, I don't think there is different fighting styles for all these different characters. Oh, I think, I think I'm right. With, with Sonic some um, levels, what you have to do is just speed through the game and just see how long you can fin finish it. With Shadows, it was, it was the same kind of thing, speed, but it, it involved combat, like how much points you would get and, you know, the, how much vehicles you would use. Then there was Silvers, where he had the fighting style of Psychokinesis. With Silvers' um, ability, Psychokinesis, what you had to do was just grab the box and just throw it at enemies and just figure out how you would get through the level, you know, using Psychokinesis. So, like, um, there would be a spot where you had to bend the metal and you would flip up to, you know, progress. Also, what I also like about the game is the music. Oh my god, the music. I can listen to the music for like, for ages. It is like, I don't know about the music, but it is just so awesome. My favorite um, tracks from, from um, you know, the music in this game is uh, Dreams of Absolution, Crisis City, and uh, Kingdom Valley. Those I can listen for all the time. Like, those are just wicked. Then we come to the final part why I like this game. It's the final episode of Sonic 06, which is um, you know, the last reason why I like the game. Now, usually for a final episode in a Sonic game, you would find all the characters would go to a certain spot and the villain would reveal itself saying, this is my final form, or, or you know, you may uncover the truth or something. But in this one... Sonic dies. 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 Dead. So dead. Dead as if you were to take a slice of butter. He is so... We get it, Thomas. He's dead. You don't have to put it in our faces. Sorry, I had a bit of, uh, <laughs> I had a bit of fun with the special effects of my camera. I remember seeing... I remember seeing this scene when Sonic got stabbed. I was actually really shocked because, you know, from, you know, it, you know, usually you wouldn't expect Sonic to, you know, die like that, which actually shook a lot of fans, which is why, I, which is another thing why I like about the game. It actually changes, you know, what Sonic games are. Usually they're fun and lighthearted and none of the characters die, except for Sonic 06, it goes a little bit darker. They actually kill Sonic, which is quite, you know, a bit odd for Sega to do that. Well, I would say that Sonic dies. He's sort of dead. And by that, like, for some strange reason, um, Princess Elise can sense his presence in the wind, which is kind of fucking stupid. But still, I guess it's, you know, somewhat light if they say that Sonic's not dead. So, to bring it back, you need to find the seven Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, because the Emeralds can bring back a person, you know, to life. And what you had to do was to go through the stages, uh, all you've been through, and they're so distorted, and the music accompanied with the complicated levels and distorted fu future, past and present, it just blows my mind. So, there you go, guys. That is why I like Sonic 06. Now... I know there's going to be a lot of people in the description saying that Oh yes, but Thomas, the, the, the graphics about it are very terrible in compared to the cinematic scenes and also the glitches really ruin the game and the characters are very undeveloped so I don't really know why you still like this game, are you crazy or something? No, I can assure you I am not crazy. Sonic 06, you know, may be to, you know, may be known for the rest of the history as, you know, the Sonic game that ruined, you know, Sega, the franchise. But in my, in my heart, I still think that Sonic 06 is still my favorite game today.
So there you go, guys. There is Game Talk, the very first episode. It's uh, it's something I wouldn't really do. Like it's sort of unusual for me, you know. Most of the time, most of the videos I put up are like gaming videos, but um, it's something that I want to do different. You know, just talk about the games that you know I like, and just you know get it out to the community. You know, have a chat with people, see about their discussions, what they think of um, you know the games. So I gotta start with the with the special camera effects. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you like, comment, favorite, and subscribe to see more videos like this, Game Talk. And if this video gets enough likes and views, I'll probably put up another video of Game Talk. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.